Ya, civil engineering student from UTH. Currently 22 year old. I was born in Moa. Do you ever hear about Moa or visit Moa? Let's check it out. Moa is located in northwest of Johor, lies along the Strait of Malacca at the mouth of the Moa River. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Malaysia and to be visited and explored for its food, coffee and historical buildings from the pre-war. Alternative name to it is Bandar Maharani. It is declared the royal city of Johor by Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar and is the fourth largest in Johor. Moa is one of the cleanest cities in Southeast Asia, being awarded with Asian Clean Tourist City Standard Award rich in history as mentioned in many historical records and archaeology works. It is believed that the history of Moa started much earlier than the Sultanate of Malacca. There were many accounts recorded about the early history of Moa. In 1361, it was claimed that Moa was a part of the Majapahit Empire. Another account also stated that Parameswara upon his exile from Tamase before proceeding to found Malacca had established a settlement at Kota Buru, Pago Ulu Moa, Moa witnessing the beginning of the Malacca Sultanate Empire. is also known for its agricultural products. The main natural products that are commercially produced are palm oil, gambia, mangosteen, rambutan, and durian. Palm oil have become the main agricultural product as the Johor government promotes plantation of palm oil trees throughout the state of Johor. Large areas of land in Moa district Johor are especially used for vegetable cultivation. Southern state was rich of the peat soil, especially at the Moa. Peat soil is one type of soft soil which composes of leaves, roots, and the other fibers under the water condition and fossilized. In the geotechnical view, peat soil is defined as soil which is formed by the accumulation of organic matter and vegetative. High moisture content causes the pea soil to have characteristics of low permeability, low shell strength, and high acidic. This problematic characteristic had given hazards to the engineering work. Low shell strength and low permeability will result to high settlement. 
High settlement will make the road construction become hard and in long term, the road will low strength and easy broken. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle is made for my job techniques do individual assignment. If you are not in civil engineering field or other related construction industry, you must be wondering what is job techniques. Audio Jungle Geotechnic is the branch of civil engineering concerned with the engineering behavior of earth materials. Geotechnics involve the application of soil and rock mechanics as well as engineering geology to solve engineering problems such as design of foundations, slopes, excavations, dams, tunnels, and other civil mining and environmental engineering projects. Mm, by the way, how can we apply geotechnics knowledge in our daily life? Since I have mentioned just now, part of geotechnic is about soil. We could apply geotechnic knowledge that we have learned by soil testing to determine fertility of soil when we are going to plant something, or the expected growth potential of the soil which indicates nutrient deficiencies, potential toxicities from excessive fertility and inhibitions from the presence of non-essential trace minerals. The test is used to mimic the function of roots to assimilate minerals. I bet you don't want to waste money on unnecessary fertilizers if the exact type and quantity of fertilizers your soil and crops need is known. Inorganic fertilizers in general and nutrients such as phosphorus and potassium are limited resources. Their prices are increasing over the years and because this trend is set to last, it is clever to adapt now to the inevitable changes. Subscribe, but don't forget to like my videos. Bye bye.